In my view, the advantage of RaceHub is the ease of use with the software. I've used a lot of different simulator software and some of it is a bit difficult to use. RaceHub, instead, is easy to use and you can calibrate the pedals within three or five seconds if you want. And you can match the throttle pedal, the brake pedal and the clutch maps to any racing car that you want. Now, RaceHub is designed so it's easy to calibrate all the pedals and as you can see here if we take the throttle pedal we simply click calibrate press the throttle click complete and there we go now the throttle pedal is calibrated we can do the same for the brake and you can see here the measurement in bars and 41 bars that's what I would like for my maximum brake pressure right now I click complete and now we can see the brake pedal is adjusted. The same applies to the clutch. Press it, click complete and done. On the brake pedal you can see it says 2% here and that's because there's a little bit of pressure in the brake itself so to make that go away and ensure that you don't drag the brake on the straight for instance you can put a little dead zone in here and you can see it functions perfectly. The same applies to the upper limits of the clutch, the brake and the throttle and all of this is intuitively designed, so you, all you have to do is press the pedal and you can always see what it does and drag it to the point where you would like it. On the simulators in here, we've got the throttle map matched to our Audi R8 GT3 Evo, for instance, which has a set of exponential throttle maps on the throttle pedal to make sure that you have the most resolution at low speed and low throttle actuation and a lower sense of control with the high throttle because if you're going over 60% throttle you most likely will want full throttle regardless. And we've mimicked that in the RaceHub software to be as easy to use as possible so you can drive just like your favorite race driver.